In the meantime, a heartbreaking story out of Denver that will resonate with parents everywhere. Uh, this is Jamel Miles right here. He is a nine year old who just started the fourth grade. But last week, Jamel took his own life four days into the school year. His mom is blaming bullying for his death. Well, tonight, Tata Vikaprikian talked to an expert about ways to create an open dialogue with your kids about bullying at school. He was my sunshine because he was my only son. Home videos of nine-year-old Jamel Miles are what his mother holds on to after he took his own life Thursday, four days after starting the fourth grade. My son told my oldest daughter, the kids at school told him to kill himself. I'm just sad he didn't come to me. Mom Leah Pierce says her son killed himself after being bullied. National statistics show one in four students say they've been bullied at school and only about that many reach out to adults for help. Give kids space to talk and make sure that they know that you're listening. Bullying prevention expert Rachel Camp says start the conversation about bullying with a simple question. One of the first things you might want to even ask your child is, you know, what is bullying? What does bullying mean to you? She says it's important to define that bullying is different from other conflicts because it's consistent and there is a power imbalance. Someone's more popular, so there is a power imbalance or someone's bigger or older. Um, and then the child can't make it stop. So that can be different than just a regular conflict. Cam says regularly asking your child about their day will develop a routine of open dialogue. Hearing them without responding and without feeling like you have to solve all of their problems. She says as children feel heard, they'll feel safer to open up to parents without the fear of getting into trouble. And for those kids who don't feel comfortable coming forward, Cam says parents should look for behaviors that are out of the norm. They're more withdrawn than usual. Um, they withdraw from um, playing with their friends. Uh, they're having trouble sleeping. Although suicide because of bullying is rare, the emotional toll can affect a child at any age. Wow, it is so important that we're talking about this. Yeah. And Tadovic, the expert that you talked to, also had more advice for parents if they ever find themselves in the situation where their child is being bullied. Yeah, as a parent, you know, you want to immediately call that other child's parent and have a direct conversation with them. The experts say don't do that. Call the school, let them be the mediator to help resolve the issue. They're trained, they know kind of how to handle this. So go that route instead of talking directly to that parent. What a sad story. Yeah. yeah. All right. Tadovic, thank you.